Let's take a look at graphing piecewise functions on a TI, or HP prime, not a TI. Okay, let's take a look at this problem. f of x is equal to x minus 3, x plus 1. And uh, this first one is if x is less than negative 2. And this one is if x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Okay. Well, this first one, um, we're going to have uh, x minus 3, and we'll have x is less than negative 2. And we'll put parentheses around the x minus 3 and parentheses around the condition. Down here we have our x plus 1, and we have our x is greater than or equal to negative 2. I'll come down here and put parentheses around uh, the pieces and parentheses around the conditions. So that's how we're going to enter it in, and let's see how to enter it in on HP Prime. Now, I'm not sure where you might be in terms of HP Prime, but if you press your apps button, you can go into function. If you don't already got it highlighted, then you can use your arrow keys to move over and highlight that and press enter. And I'll press my, uh, my backspace key here to clean that out. And on F1, we're going to put our first, first piece in condition. So we're going to put our parentheses. We're going to do our x minus 3. I'm going to right arrow to get out of the parentheses. Then I'll put another set of parentheses. And we're going to put x is less than negative 2. So I'll do x. Now there might be a very easy way to get the, um, the less than and greater than and so forth. I was having trouble finding it anywhere here. I'm definitely not an expert on HP Prime. I'm putting these videos out here to benefit my students who go into college algebra that... Um, where I'm showing the TI uh, Texas Instruments in class, then they can refer to these videos to see how to enter in the same thing in their calculator, assuming they have an HP Prime. Well, we want less than, and I'm going to press my toolbox here, and you probably have a math option shows here. We want the catalog, so I want to click choose catalog, and uh, yours is probably up here to start, start somewhere, probably up here somewhere. What you want to do is you want to down arrow until you find the less than. Well, here's the less than. And then we'll press enter. Then I'll put in negative 2, like that, and then press enter. Now in our second piece, I'm going to put my parentheses, and then I'll put x plus 1. So x plus 1. I'm going to write my right arrow key to get out of the parentheses. Then I'll do another set of parentheses, and we want to put in x is greater than or equal to negative 2. So x, and then I'm going to go to my catalog. So I do my toolbox. You should already have catalog still chose here. And you down arrow until you find uh, greater than or equal to, which is right here. And press enter. And then we put in negative 2. And then press enter. Okay, now that's how we'll put that in. Now if I press my plot, you almost see your entire picture. doesn't give you everything. Kind of cool the different colors. This one is um, going like that. And this one is going like that. Okay. Now, the one piece it doesn't give you is this one says when x is less than negative 2, it looks like this. Uh, less than means it doesn't include it. So there's going to be an open dot here or open circle. This one looks like this when x is greater than or equal to. The greater than or equal to, the equal to part means you put a solid dot here. And that'd be our graph. Let's look at another example. Let's look at this one. So we got f of x is equal to 2, negative 2x, x squared plus 3. If, 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 okay. x is less than negative 2. This one is negative 2 is less than or equal to x is less than 0. And this one is x is greater than or equal to 0. Well, we're going to plug in each one of our pieces. So I got 2, negative 2x, and x squared plus 3. And we have to put parentheses on them when we plug them in our calculator. And we'll put it in our pieces. Uh, this piece is x is less than negative 2. 
This piece is negative 2 is less than or equal to x is less than 0. And this piece is x is greater than or equal to 0. And again, we're going to put a parentheses around our conditions. And we're going to put these on three separate lines on our calculator. So let's go look at that. Come back here. I'll press my sim symbol. Do a backspace. Down there to that. Backspace. Okay. Now back here, I'll put my parentheses. Put two in there. Then I'll right arrow key over. I do my parentheses again. And I got X is less than. Well, I'm going to do my toolbox. I should be under catalog. And I'm going to up arrow to less than. And press enter. And then I'll put a negative 2. And press enter. Now I'm on F2, which is negative 2x inside of parentheses. So do my parentheses. Negative 2x. Right arrow to get out of uh, the parentheses. Now I'll put in my set of parentheses. And then, um, let's see, negative 2 and less than or equal to. So I'm going to go to my catalog again. So I do my toolbox. I'm in the catalog. I'm looking for less than or equal to, which is right here. So I press Enter. And I'll put in my X. And then I want less than 0. So I go back to my toolbox. Choose the less than. Press Enter. 0. And then press enter. Okay, our last one's x squared plus 3 inside of parentheses. So do my parentheses. My x key, x squared, plus 3. Now I do my right arrow key to get out of the parentheses. Then do my parentheses again. And x is greater than or equal to 0. So my x key, choose my toolbox, and the catalog. I want greater than or equal to. So down arrow. There it is. 0 and then press enter. Okay, so we entered that exactly as you see it. And you see it puts uh, times in there um, automatically. Now if I do plot, this is what our graph's going to look like. Almost. Use your imagination on this. There we go. Well, it looks like this when x is less than negative 2. Less than means this is an open dot. Uh, this is uh, this way when uh, negative 2 is less than or equal to x, less than or equal to, the line underneath means this is solid. And less than 0 means this is a open dot down here. x is greater than or equal to 0 means this would be a solid. And now it would be our graph. Now to clean these out, you just go back to your symbol and do a backspace on each one of these. And that'll clean it out. And I can press apps to go back to the main menu here if I want it. Anyway, that's graphing piecewise functions on HP Prime uh, graphing calculator.